Good morning everyone. See in previous video we discussed about monohybrid and dihybrid cross. Now we will discuss about deviation from Mendelian law. See deviation means you can understand deviation means changes. There are some of the crossing over which does not follow Mendelian's law. So, for such condition, we use the term deviation, changes. Suppose, if we do crossing over, we will not get the same result that we will get in monohybrid and dihybrid cross. So, for that, we use the term deviation from Mendelian's law. Deviation is some sort of changes or some variation from Mendelian's law. So, one such example, example for deviation from Mendelian law is, one is incomplete dominance, one is co-dominance. See, example for Mendelian's law or which law follow Mendelian's conditions means, one is monohybrid, one is dihybrid cross that we have already discussed. Now, deviations from Mendelian law. So, for that, there are two examples given. One is incomplete dominance, one is co-dominance. See, out of this, this incomplete dominance is very important. See, one question is compulsory in examination from this topic, that is from deviation from Mendelian law. In that also, incomplete dominance is very important. See, we know that the definition of dominance or dominant character dominant character means the character that get expressed in f1 generation suppose if we take tall and dwarf characteristic feature the character that get expressed in f1 generation will be always the dominant one here not tall dwarf that does not matter the character which is dominant that means the character that can suppress other character and get expressed in the F1 generation is always the dominant the, the dominant character have the capacity to express itself in the first generation but here by seeing the title you can understand incomplete dominance that means See, in some cases, one allele is one allele is incomplete dominant over other allele. That means the dominant allele sometime it will not completely expressed. It will not express completely. As a resultant of that, we can see one intermediate character. So, this exam does not apply for incomplete dominance. This is for monohybrid. Just for reference, I took. See, incomplete dominance means, let me write the definition. That is, the appearance of, appearance of an intermediate character. Intermediate intermediate character in a hybrid obtained by crossing two homozygous varieties So, this is called as incomplete dominance. See, that is the appearance of an intermediate character. See, in incomplete dominance, we can see one intermediate character. That means one extra characteristic feature that is not present in parent in a hybrid. In the hybrid, in the sense, first generation, F1 generation. That means when we cross the parents, the first generation obtained, that is called as F1 generation and also hybrid in general so in the hybrid we can see one intermediate character or one new character different character that is obtained by crossing two homozygous varieties if we take two homozygous varieties of parent and if we do crossing over we can see one 
intermediate character or the new characteristic feature which is not present in the both parents that is due to incomplete dominance as the dominant allele failed to express itself we can see the appearance of an intermediate character in a hybrid so that is called as incomplete dominance this is the statement of incomplete dominance if you see the example it will be clear see when it comes to examples of incomplete dominance see one thing you have to remember see incomplete dominance we cannot do by taking that seven pairs of contrasting character so far while doing monohybrid and dihybrid crosses we used to take the character out of seven pair of contrasting characters see monohybrid and dihybrid cross monotimally now seven pair of contrasting character in now first class i'll discuss madidvi adrally one pair or one character tagondre adu monohybrid cross example aagta ittu two character tagondre that is for dihybrid cross but illi incomplete dominance anta bandaga aa seven pair of contrasting characters alli now incomplete dominance madodike barodilla that seven pair of contrasting character are restricted only for doing mono hybrid and dihybrid cross for doing incomplete dominance we have different examples incomplete dominance anta bandaga different examples ide that i'll tell you now but you should not take that seven pair of contrasting character that is very important so incomplete dominance anta bandaga you can take one is i'm talking about examples for incomplete dominance see one example is Four o'clock plant. Four o'clock plant. That is also called as scientifically it is called as mirabilis jalapa. Or that is also called as snap dragon. snapdragon or anthrium species this is also called as dog flower so these are some of the examples for doing incomplete dominance while writing example uh, for mono hybrid and dihybrid we used to write the character that is stem height flower color like that so while doing this incomplete dominance you have to write example of four o'clock plant or mirabilis jalapa or you can write snapdragon or anthurium species so these are some of the examples see for one mark also they may ask you give one example for incomplete dominance so these are the plants that means the flowers of this plant will express incomplete dominance so these are some of the examples you have to remember for doing incomplete dominance now i'll solve an example the example is not so difficult it is very easy so it is same like mono hybrid cross let me take one example example i'll take four o'clock plant so you can write any of the example here that i mentioned earlier and you can write first i'll write the parent See when it comes to four o'clock plant or any of the plant that we are given example for this uh, incomplete dominance. See that plant gives red flowers. As well as white flowers. 